What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pro Guys video. All right, so box fighting can be an extremely difficult fighting style. We know this, especially if you're up against someone who has good knowledge of different tricks and has quick mechanics. That's why, my friends, it's just super important to have an arsenal of go-to techniques and tricks that you can use to outplay anyone in your path in box fights. Today, we're going to be showing you guys five box fighting scenarios that you can use to outplay your opponents. Also, all right, we tried to focus on techniques that you can also use on high ping. Yeah, I said a high ping. So even if you're not a zero ping psycho, <laughs> you're going to be able to use these techniques just as well as anybody else. But real quick, before we get started, I got a question for you. Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? I love asking that question because I already know the answer is yes. Yes, I'm sure it is. You need to check out ProGuys.com on, on our website. Okay, so we offer courses from some of the best pros like Mongrel and Benji, and we're creating new ones like Weekly. From advanced building and editing guides to scrim courses to controller courses and so much more. On top of all of this, we got articles and guides to help you stay on top of the meta. We offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from some of the best players in the world. So if you want to be the best, you got to check out ProGuides.com. And last thing before we get into this amazing video, we got to do the question of the day. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Today's question is, which box fighting technique do you guys enjoy using the most and why? Let us know in the comments which box fighting technique you enjoy using the most, and I'm really forward to reading them. All right, guys, it is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. I know we got a lot of haters in life, but I'm telling you right now, at least you got one guy that you can count on in your corner, and that is me. Yes, your motivation guy, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here rooting for you. Literally, I'm cheering for you. Like, I really, I really want you guys to be successful. I really, really do. I don't care what you think. It's the truth. For real, all right? Not only in this game, but also in life, man. So keep going. Keep your head up. I'm believing with you guys that this is going to be your best year yet. So keep up the faith, man. Don't give up, no matter how hard it is. Because trust me, I've been through some hard times. And I found out that if I just kept going, if I could just keep my head up, I will see the light. I will I will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I will get to that place that I want to be in my life. And, and I've gotten there in a lot of different areas. But I'm still going, man. Connect to me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. All right, guys. It's about that time. Everybody around the world, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Come on, y'all need to scream this out. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. The first technique we're going to be discussing in this video is called pre-firing. Pre-firing refers to setting yourself up for an opponent to edit on you and predicting their edit to shoot them based on their editing menu and movement patterns, all right? To pre-fire an opponent, set yourself up in a box next to your opponent's box or just outside of their box and set yourself up in a position where they're going to attempt to edit on you. When you see your opponent moving around, <laughs> opening their edit menu or anything like that, prepare your shotgun on them and the second they make the edit, you're going to want to shoot them right in the face. One good way to set this up is to start putting pressure on your opponent's box from the outside, including pickaxing the wall or just spraying them. And then once you think they're going to edit, preparing to shoot your shotgun at them, all right? There are a few scenarios where why this is risky. First, okay, so when you're low on health, if you don't have at least, mm, I say like 100 health or so, then you're taking the chance of getting shot back, and there's a really good chance that that shot is going to send you right back to the lobby. It's not uncommon to be hit back with a shot when you do this technique, but you know, with your crosshair already aligned and set up, you're almost guaranteed to hit a stinky shot even if you don't build or reset an edit in time to cover yourself. The second situation, my friends, is if you're out of build. Okay, so it's important to build a wall, ramp, or something to cover you after you pre-fire someone, all right? So you can just potentially avoid getting hit back. If you can't do this, you're going to end up taking damage almost 100% of the time. Unless you have a right-hand peak or otherwise an angle where you can just go back down from, all right? And avoid damage in this case where you have return fire. Look at this example right here, and I mean like right here, of a nicely performed pre-fire by one of Benji Fishy's opponents in a box fight. Benji makes the edit on the player, but they've already got a shot lined up and hit him with a nasty shot. They also quickly go away out of his line of sight so he can't return any shots. This is a pretty short example, right? But you should be able to see just how effective pre-firing is, even against pro players. Next up, we're going to be going over an insane phasing trick that you can use to surprise your opponent and get into the box with ease. This next technique, guys, is honestly just crazy. You're going to have to see it to believe it, all right? So, we all know phasing mechanics in Fortnite are crazy, and there are always new techniques coming out to hop into your opponent's box, even if they're a little nerd who just sits there and holds their wall for hours on end. You can pickaxe it, 
can't take it, pickaxe it again, still can't take it, it's annoying. Okay, I've been there, trust me. All right, so we'll look no further, my friends, as this trick is gonna allow you guys to get into your opponent's box even if you play on high ping, almost every single time. Who doesn't want that? To start up, set a wall outside of your opponent's box, all right? Perpendicular to the wall you like to take on the left side. It'll look something like this. Next, edit a door from the other side of the wall, the side away from the wall you like to take, and open it. So the door covers part of the wall as shown right here. At this point, all right, you set up the technique completely, right? Now position yourself right next to the door on the right side, crouch, and angle your character so you're walking diagonally to the left. The door will block you from actually going left, so don't worry about that, all right? From right here, simply just spray or pickaxe your opponent's wall while still walking like this, and you'll simply just phase in. All right, so it is so important to note that there is some risk involved in this technique, ain't gonna lie about that, just like any other technique, right? Keep in mind that every build in the box will belong to your opponent, so they have all the edits and can place traps. However, okay, so if you time this correctly and play it smart, man, you could pull off a nice, surprising play and get an easy kill. All right, so next up, let's go over a pro trick that you can use with an RPG to get full control over an opponent's box. You guys ready? Let's do this. If you ever have an RPG in game, you know how versatile it is, all right? From getting splash damage on a team, to spamming a turtling opponent, to finishing off a player with no mats, there are just so many uses for this weapon. Let's add one more thing to that list of uses, shall we? The next technique requires that you have an RPG and that your opponent is an Eternal. This technique is gonna allow you to take full control over two walls and potentially even the roof of your opponent's box without them even knowing. To do this technique, start off by positioning yourself on top of your opponent's box in the corner just like this, with two walls connected by the opposite corner. Look at the part where the walls connect and about 70% of the way up the wall and shoot your RPG into that spot, all right? From here, immediately look down and spam walls where your two walls were, but down low so they place in the top below. If you manage to get those, immediately switch to your floor and cone and spam both of those for the chance that you get their full roof as well. All right, so from here, like right here, you have a lot of options, all right? Like going to a sidewall and editing on them, making a double edit from the roof, doing the Mongo Classic or anything else, all right? You have almost full control of their box, so you gotta be creative. All right, so next up, we're gonna be showing you the Mitro Classic, an OG technique that you can use to hop on your opponent and use the element of surprise to potentially get an easy kill. The Mitro Classic is one of the simplest yet most effective techniques around. Here's an example of one of the first ever Mitro Classic clips. You guys ready? Where Mitro completely destroys a duo using it. So he can exploit into that. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's super easy to catch opponents off guard using this technique and it can even phase you into a zero ping opponent's box, regardless of your own ping. To set this up, all you need to do is just set up a ramp against your opponent's wall and just break their wall to one pickaxe from breaking, which is basically 75 health or below. From here, still under the ramp, sprint up, jump, and time your pickaxe swing so it breaks the wall right as you come in contact with it. This can be really hard to learn, especially the timing of it. So we recommend heading into creative with a friend, having them hold a wall with turbo build and doing this technique over and over again until you just get it almost every single time. It's gonna take a while, all right? Not gonna lie about that. So take your time, all right? You're gonna get the timing down, but once you learn it, man, it's gonna be one of the most effective techniques to use on low opponents. As with any phasing technique, you should really be careful as your opponents will try to trap kill you if you're able to. So use this trick in moderation, all right? Don't just spam it on everybody, like all the time, regardless of how fun it may be to use. Also guys, last thing, be super careful using the Metro Classic on low HP, as you're gonna be pretty much always end up in a 50-50 scenario if you do, as you're gonna be in your opponent's box. So like a health advantage will be the best thing if you have that. The last technique we're gonna be going over guys is a fancy roof replace trick that you can use when you're above somebody. So let's check that out. All right, so we've all been there, right? On top of someone's box, trying over and over again to replace their cone, and nothing happens. Well, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at a trick that you could use to actually replace their floor, right through their cone to surprise them and get an easy control of both their floor and cone pieces. So all you gotta do is set up a ramp or edit a cone outside of your opponent's box, as long as they don't block off the edge of the floor you wanna replace. From here, position yourself near the floor, which should be under their cone, and hit the floor with your pickaxe. 
It might take a few tries to get the angle right, but you know, you're gonna be able to trick your opponent and get their floor instead of their cone, which will likely confuse them and result in you getting their cone as well. And then you could just pull off an edit play from above or anything you like to do, all right? This technique is super effective against those pesky turtlers. Just watch out for any edit plays your opponent might try to sneak in with. Okay, so we've discussed some pretty cool techniques in this video. So let's quickly refresh everything and do a short recap. All right, so our first technique, pre-firing, you guys remember that? It's an amazing trick to use against opponents who turtle and go for edit plays. And it's really a surprisingly helpful technique for how simple it actually is. Whenever your opponent is trying to edit on you, simply pre-fire and then build to block off any return fire from them, all right? The door phase, the second technique on this list is super helpful since you can basically phase into anyone's box regardless of ping. Use this whenever you just want to get in and get out for the quick kill, all right? But be careful for traps when you use this. One of the more advanced techniques on this list, the RPG box replace. Whew. It's absolutely amazing if you have an RPG and you want to replace a turtling opponent's wall. This isn't relying on ping and it can easily result in a quick and easy kill. Number four was the Metro Classic and boy, this is a good one. Using the Metro Classic, yo, you can simply hop into your opponent's box and use the element of surprise to your advantage. When you do this, you're basically forcing a 50-50, so you gotta be sure you have high health. 200 if possible, and preferably an opponent who isn't on great health. Bonus points if they have a low level shotgun, as they won't hit you for nearly as much damage. And as with any phasing technique, be careful for traps. All right, so the surprise roof replace, our last technique is amazing for those situations where you're above an opponent's box and just trying to get that high ground angle. Use this to grab control of the floor first and catch your opponent off guard. This can easily help you guys get control of both the floor and cone and give you an easy opportunity to pull off an edit play from above. All right, guys, it is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, you got to connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you. Keep your head up. Keep going. Don't surrender. Don't quit. Listen, you better have joy. You better have a lot of fun in life because life is too short to waste. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Go into your next box fight with confidence, knowing that you got your hands on some of the best techniques that you can use to outplay even the best of opponents. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, we appreciate it a bunch, like a bunch of crunch. If you could drop a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends as well, that'd be cool. Remember to tell us in the comments what you'd like to see next on the channel. We read all of your comments, and we will consider every idea. Also, be sure to check out ProGuys.com for some amazing, exclusive content you're not going to find anywhere else but right here. Yeah, I mean, like, right here. Once again, we'll see you next time.